welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be my best beauty products of 2015 I do have quite a few of my favorite products that I've been loving this year and some of them are recent purchases but since I've gotten them I just can't stop using them and these are in no particular order I'm just gonna just go through them randomly and yeah let's just jump straight into this video and I hope you guys enjoy so number one is my Garnier Moisture Match well Moisture Nourish Plus moisturizer it's for dry to very dry skin and as you all know I just love this product I use product I can't speak today um, I, co I constantly use this in every single one of my tutorials I can't find a better moisturizer I mean I've got so many moisturizer moisturizers at home but this is like my favorite favorite one and also if you don't have dry skin there are other types of these for other skin types like combination and normal skin and if you want like glowy skin there's just so many, like I think they have like six different ones. Um, but I love this product, I've used it so many, I don't know how many bottles I've bought, I think I've bought like 10 this year. But um, I just really really love this and if you haven't tried it, go try it out because I just, I just love this this year. So product number two is one of my recent purchases and uh, since I got it, I can't stop using it. I'm nearly halfway, look at that. So that just shows how much I've been loving this. I mean, it hydrates your skin and also primes it. I realised that when I wear this under my foundation, my makeup, well, my foundation stays on longer and it doesn't get really quite patchy through the day because I do like to, like, lean on my face and stuff, but it does really like keep your makeup in place and I just love the fact that you can set your makeup with it or just use it before your makeup and it has it's silicone free alcohol free and oil free um, it does have a tiny scent but it's like a very fresh smell which I really like and it's super I just I just love this I just love spraying this on my face and I just love spraying things in general on my face um, but this is like my number one so I've been loving this this year it's around 20 pounds it's quite pricey but I feel like the for the size and the brand I think 20 pounds is not bad for this so yeah this is product number two so product number three is actually another recent purchase it's the NARS sheer glow foundation I know I've gotten this recently but I feel like I've used this so much I can't stop reaching out for it and this is by far my number one foundation out of all my foundations and trust me I have a lot of foundations um, it's just before the Estee Lauder double wear but this is by far my favorite favorite one I just really love this I'm wearing it today and I just feel like it gives a really flawless finish to my skin and you get a lot of product there's so many shades I mean I have a foundation review on this so I'll leave it in, I'll leave a link in the info box so if you guys want to check that out but I just love this seriously love so my next product is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara oh my god I can't emphasize enough how much I just freaking love this I mean I just want to eat it sometimes because I just love it so much I just there's I haven't tried a better mascara than this one I'm literally obsessed with this I've bought I've bought so many since it came out it's quite a new product I don't even remember when it came out but I've just bought so many since and I do prefer the intense black one but it's just so good I love it I love it oh my god you guys you need to try this mascara seriously please don't go spending so much money on a mascara when you can just get such an amazing one at the drugstore so I just love this mascara it's like my little baby so yeah this is definitely a top product for me in 2015 so product number five is actually the Gerard Cosmetics lipstick and it's in the shade 1995 and you guys I love this seriously I'm actually someone that doesn't really wear much lipstick on a daily so um, especially bold colors even though I love how they look I'm I just don't, I just feel like so self-conscious about lipsticks like oh if it's on my teeth or if it's got that that line on the inner corner of my lip or if it's somewhere on my face I just get so self-conscious so I don't tend to wear it as much um, but this one I just trust it so much like if it goes on my lips I know it's not going anywhere I mean if you touch it it's obviously gonna transfer but I never I've never had it on my lips or it just stays so long doesn't get dry it doesn't create that line in the inner corner in a bit of the lip and the shade is like my go-to shade it's just not too much it's great for my skin tone and yeah I just really love this unfortunately I did get it from America so I had to pay customs for it but you can now get it on beautybay.com 
and it's around £11 which I think is alright for lipstick especially for this one because it's such a great quality lipstick and they have so many other shades um, I do prefer their matte lipsticks than the like the sheer ones or I don't know the shiny ones I don't really like shiny lipsticks but this one yes I love it and I've never gone through a lipstick this much because obviously I do have quite a few, few bit left but I think I've used half of it or like a quarter of it and I've never used lipstick that much so yeah, this is another favourite of mine for 2015. Now for product number 6, I have the Real Techniques uh, Miracle Complexion Sponge. And this is what it looks like. And this is such a good drugstore sponge. It costs around £6, I believe, at the drugstore. And it's quite... I've had this for quite a while. And I do, I do wash this every time I use it. Because I just feel like it's something that bacteria can grow in it, mold can grow in it, I don't know, so I just, I wash it every single time, but I think it's time for me to get a new one actually, because it's starting to tear, but this is so good, like I love using the flat surface to blend my foundation, I have also bought the beauty blender recently and I absolutely love it, but even though I do love that one, I still reach for this one because I still love it so much, and I just love how big it is, this large surface, and it's just so soft and it's very very it's like a to me it's a dupe for the beauty blender and I think it's a plus because it's so affordable compared to the beauty blender which is like 16 pounds for that one so yeah that's why I really really like this one it's so affordable such great quality and you can definitely compare it to the beauty blender and it just blends your foundation and concealer seamlessly and it's just, oh, I never use a brush for my foundation or conceal anymore. It's so weird. I just use a sponge. This has been a big, big favourite of mine for 2015 as well. Now for the next product, this has actually been a very big favourite of mine for this year. And it's actually the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. Um, it's actually called the Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. I am in the shade Medium Dark Warm. Seriously, I just I can't say enough about it. Like it's just so good. I can't stop using it. I use it to prime my eyelids for my eyeshadow because it just prevents creasing so much. I have a lot of wrinkles and well lines under my eyes under my eyes basically and when I put this I don't have to like tap through the day because it's creasing it does not crease whatsoever and I feel like because it doesn't crease it helps my eyeshadow not to crease either because I have huge lines on my eyelids and it just prevents that and it's just so good I just love it and you can if you're a student you can get a discount um, with uni days from House of Fraser like 10% off and it'll go down to £15 which I think is a really 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 good price for Urban Decay and you get so much product in this I, I, it's, I'm starting to run out because you can see gaps in the bottle but you get a lot of product in, in this in my opinion and I think this is definitely better than the um, NARS uh, what's it called again? Radiant Creamy Concealer I think that one I do like that one but this is a hundred times better now for the next product, I have another drugstore one, and it is the NYC Black Liquid Eyeliner that I got for like uh, 1.99 or something. You get a lot in this bottle, and I just love everything about it. The brush, this is what the brush is like. It's super thin, and the formula of this is just amazing. It lasts all day. It doesn't flake like some eyeliners do and it doesn't crisp off or it just applies seamlessly and the finish of it is super matte and super 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 black and I've seen so many YouTubers rave about this but I finally got it and I've just been loving it since I got it and it's just so easy to, it's just so easy for me to do my eyeliner now but yeah I absolutely love this and if you haven't tried it definitely try this so product number 9 is actually a, another drugstore product and it's actually the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer. Um, it's the orange corrector one and this is what it looks like. I got this for £5 I think. I can't stop using it. I mean I do have a lot of hyperpigmentation around my mouth area and sometimes around my cheeks. And I just apply this on top and it just kind of corrects the darkness and warms up the skin. So when you put your foundation on, it just looks flawless. Um, I do already have a video on that, so I will link that as well in the info box. Um, you guys seem to like that one, so I'm really glad that you found it helpful. 
and yeah so I definitely like love this it's so affordable and the consistency of it is super thick and it's easy it's really easy to blend and I feel like it, it lasts really long on, on the skin and I just really love this it's such a great product for the price I mean so many people have been raving about these and also the concealers I love the concealer as well but I just prefer this so much more so yeah, I've been loving this. So my next product is a brow product and it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in dark brown. And guys, I can't stop using this. I don't use anything on my brows anymore. Um, my brows are quite messy at the moment because I'm trying to grow them out as I said in my previous video. But I just can't stop using it. This product actually halved the amount of time I spend on my brows. I mean, before I used to spend so much time on them, but with this, it's just like, oh, do that, do this, comb it out, and then it's done. Like, it's so easy to use. The product is amazing. I love the formula. It's just so easy to create, like, hair-like, like, hair-like things. Um, I just use small strokes. You get, like, the product end, and then you get a spoolie. This was um, £15 on Beauty Bay, so... It's quite pricey, but I definitely think it's worth it. So I can't, I like, I, I won't move away from this. I just love it so much. The next product is another Anastasia Beverly Hills product, and it's the Shadow Couture palette that I have right here. And ever, ever since I got it, I think I use this every day. Yeah. Every time I put makeup on, I think I touch this at least. And the shades are so freaking amazing like look at them I definitely love the Morocco shade and fudge and this shade here to act as a base and then I love this shade here um, what's that called Bellini and I love spoiled and noir and pink champagne oh my god I can't forget pink champagne it's just such a pretty color and noir is like the blackest most pigmented black I've ever used in the eyeshadow it's so amazing this is 23 pounds I got it from Beauty Bay I think for the, the brand and the quality of the eyeshadows I think that's such an amazing price when I saw the price I just got it straight away so I definitely this is a huge favorite of mine for 2015 so product number 12 is a makeup revolution product and it's the ultra contour palette looks like this and I just love this palette I can't stop using it you have everything in there you've got your matte bronzer shades you've got a contour powder shade you've got your highlighters here I broke this one but that was my actually my favorite one out of the three and then you have your two setting powders as you can see I've hit pan on this one and I rarely hit pans on any product ever so that's a huge deal for me like I've definitely been using that a lot and I'm nearly hitting pan on the bronzers, but it's just so good. I did do a review on this, so if you guys want to see that, I'll leave an another link in the info box. I think it's just such a great bargain. I mean, you get so many shades and powders in here. I like to use this now for my highlighter. I did break it because I keep using it, and I don't know. I mean, I think the, the downside to it is the packaging, or maybe I'm a bit too rough and I keep dropping things. But, yeah definitely love this and if you haven't tried it definitely try it it's so cheap for how much you get in it and yeah so my next favorite beauty product is another makeup revolution one and it's actually a highlighter and this is the radiant light in glow and i broke this one as well i don't know i think i might be rough but then i only broke my makeup revolution stuff I don't know but this is what the highlighter looks like and it's a really really pretty highlighter shade let me swatch it it's just I don't know if you can see it on my camera because my camera is so crap but it's such a subtle pretty gold highlight I have it on today I hope you can see my highlight but it's just so good and I just love I just use this on a daily really to highlight my skin and I think this was four pounds or six pounds or something like that and I think that's such an affordable price I just love makeup revolution in general but this is such a favorite of mine um, I just love it to highlight my skin and if you have like if you're around my skin tone definitely try this so my next product is another drugstore and I did actually purchase this quite recently as well but since I got it I just can't stop using it and it's the NYX matte bronzer in deep and 
I just love this. I mean, I just keep using it to just bronze up my face and add colour to my face. And I do use it on a daily. Like, sometimes I don't wear makeup, but I just use this to just bronze up my face. And I just love it, really. Um, I use it a lot, especially when I go to school. Um, I think I've worn it to school. Yeah. But um, I just use this all the time now. And it's so affordable. I don't remember the price, but I'll write all the product details and prices and links and everything in the info box. Um... But yeah, this is a big favourite of mine now. I know I won't stop using it. <laughs> so my last and final product that I've been loving this year is actually, I think, was one of the biggest hypes that was on in the makeup industry this year. Well, like, social media-wise, I feel like. Um, and it's the um, Jaclyn Hill Favourites Palette by Morphe Brushes. <sighs> I can't believe that I actually got one. I was contemplating about it, but I'm so happy that I got it. These are the shades, and unfortunately this is a limited edition palette, but you can get other Morphe palettes on Beauty Bay if you live in the UK, or like obviously you can get it from the Morphe website. Um, but they're like around £15 I would say, and you get so many colours in here. The shadows are such great quality, they're so creamy, especially like the satiny and the shimmery ones. They're so buttery when you feel them. And they're so pigmented. I just love, love, love this palette. I love it so much. And I do want to get the 35O palette. That will be my next palette that I'm going to try and get. I'm just waiting for cultbeauty.co.uk. I think that's their website. I'm just waiting for them to like release it on their website. Instead of getting it from America and then paying customs for it. I'm just waiting to see if it will launch on a website in the UK. But it's, it's another good palette. And... If you can get your hands on any Morphe palette, definitely try them. It's such good quality and trust me, you would love the, the shadows. They're just so good. So yeah, that's been another favourite of mine. I just love this palette so much and it's gone through a lot, as you can see. It's so much dirtiness on the palette. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. That's all my products that I've been loving so, so much during this year. And I can't believe this year is over. It just, it's just so surreal because I did start my channel December last year and or November like end of November or something like that it's just so surreal to me that a year has gone by and I just had so much fun on this channel on my Instagram and it's just so weird I do hope that 2016 will be a bigger better year for all of us and that we will be able to do so many more new things and try out new things and be happy full of love so i wish you all a very happy new year i will try to upload this video tonight just before new year's um this will, will be obviously my last video so i will see you all in the new year so yeah that's the end of this video i hope you guys did like it give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe for more videos and thank you so much for watching. I love you guys all so much and I'll see you in the next year. Bye.